you know there's a theory that the Foundation War was a hoax? That the reptiles deliberately kept in the background, but in reality, they're the ones controlling the city from the underground even now. What? Where did you hear that? I'd never heard such sheep shit before. I read it in Tomorrow's Word. That's a pretty prestigious newspaper. I wouldn't use that trash to wipe my cloaca, Marty. It'll rot your brain. Well, at least I read something other than the labels on liquor bottles. Hey, that was a bit below the belt. Yep, but true. You got me. Yes, but this isn't about... It was me Obvious. What have we got? I don't know, Mark. Anything interesting? Yeah. I SN. Could be the initials of a person, a, a place, a company, or a club. Too many possibilities. But we must find out where it's from. this be? Maybe a piece of a painting. And there's some kind of squiggle on it. The signature of the painter? Yeah, I can't make it out. It's a piece of a painting. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm sure this is what Natasha wanted to show us. some juicy gossip, boys. Always. Deputy Malloy got so drunk, he fell asleep on the toilet. <laughs> it took them an hour to find him. Stupid oaf. So that's why Blood Boyle was here. Yeah, hi. And he's in a pretty sure mood because he had to come in on New Year's Eve. Just our luck. No, no, no. Your luck is that he's too busy to care about you two lovers right now. <laughs> right now? <laughs> ah, yeah. Don't go stirring up a shitstorm, okay? We're gonna have enough on our plates tonight. We'll do what we can, Bosco, but I can't promise anything. Blood boils in there somewhere. It's best to avoid him before he finds some reason to lock us in. You took the words out of my beak, boss. Listen, doll, we have some questions. Make it quick, boys, I'm busy. this broken so how about you tell me what you're really doing here not a chance Timbo the truth is we're already leaving sorry pal maybe next time huh what more do you want 
Is it forbidden to stand around at your place? Go stand around somewhere else in the city. It's a piece of a painting. So a piece of a painting? That's it? And what's that smear on it? It's too illegible to be a signature. It could be anything. Well, maybe Natasha can help us. After all, this is what she wanted to show us, isn't it? Well, that's if we find her. She should be here by now. True. Well, then what's next? How about we peck around town some more? We could do that, but I think we should gather what we know and... Try to figure out where we can go from here. A uh, bourbon in my office? Ah, uh, you know what? After all this, I could use a drink. Right answer. We had no choice but to continue the investigation where it started. In that shady little apartment I called home. The only lead was the list Fillmore gave us, with all those imposing names on it. But what could it mean? And why did Natasha keep it secret from us? But most importantly, what did all this have to do with Deborah's death? The trail started to get cold, and so did the air outside. There was something unsettling in the black clouds, hiding all the stars. I prayed that they didn't bring an early snowfall. The night was already painful enough. So, what are we doing here? Trying to calm down. I'll have a shot. Sure you will. And we're trying to put the pieces together, of course. Figure out what's next. And what is next, Boss Bird? Let's take a look at what we've learned so far. So, how did this whole case start? for Natasha, no doubt about that. Natasha is terrified, and she's in real danger. But she kept this list hidden from us. It seems too important to keep it a secret. person who moves in circles high enough to know where it's from. Lewis. We must ask him if we want to get out of this dead end. So, the card is, uh, uh, maybe a dead end. The piece of painting, too. But the list Filmar gave us... Exactly. Full of those imposing names. And I only know one person who moves in similar circles. Lamar! Yes, Marty. It's Lewis. Exactly. Of course, it's Lewis. But where do we find the bunny man? Well, since he owns this building, I'm hoping he's here. It's worth a call. You know his number? By heart. 555-932. I wrote it down in my notebook as well. Oh, you are a professional, Boss Bird.
Hey, Lewis, uh, sorry to disturb you again. Uh, could you come over to my place? I uh, have a question for you. It's very important. It's about a case. A real case? With the chicken police? Of course, Sonny. I'll be over in a few minutes. Thanks, pal. I owe you one. Why? <laughs> Just a little second. Thanks, Lewis. Again. Oh, don't mention it. Besides, it was my big dream, dream, dream to help you with a serious case. Well, let's hope you can help. What can you tell me about this list, old pal? Hmm. Well, well, these names. I know ha half of them personally. Maybe even more. I knew it. But I have no idea what kind of list this is. Here we go. But these are all members of the upper c c class. Politicians, business people. Oh, my. <clears throat> Even the commander of the r Royal Guard. Damn. But I really don't know what it means. So, is it a dead end? I'm a afraid so. Debra, the girl who came to me tonight. Yes, she's a very lovely young lady. Where did you take her after you two left? Where she asked me to. To Flowerville. Flowerville? Rochester Street 37? Y yes, exactly. Why? Luck. <gasps> did something happen? Nothing good, Lewis. Nothing good. This? This? Oh, 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 my goodness. I think we have a bingo, gentlemen. You s s see, I also have one of these. A card? Like this? Really? Y yes. It's a membership card to a very exclusive club. How exclusive? Very. That's what I'm talking about. What does S.N. mean, Lewis? It's the s s s sweltering Nile. But that's a... Well, yes, it's a brothel. But it's not, not like that. It's s s something completely different. Calm down, Lewis. We're not going to tell anybody. Thank you s s so much. <laughs> it is rather embarrassing. <clears throat> Listen, Lewis. How do we get in? Phew. What to get in? Well, if you... Show them this card. They'll sh sh surely let you in, but it will be obvious you're not regulars there. We're used to that. So, are we going to a luxury brothel? Correct, Marty. Thanks for the help, Lewis. I owe you one. For the third time today, I think. I don't know what you s s s said to him, but after you finished, he almost immediately van van disappeared. Really? That's suspicious. Or he had business elsewhere. It's New Year's Eve. Everybody's going somewhere. I didn't see... I didn't see her after the show. If I'm not mistaken, she usually leaves when everyone else has already left. What else do you know about her, Lewis? Oh, not much. What everybody knows, she was a... The dancer, then a backing singer, then st st star, and then club owner. We found out as much already. Do you think she'd fled the Stavonian massacre? That's why the secrecy. Do you mean the massacre of the royal f family? I'd say her accent is a dead g g giveaway, and her name too, though it's undoubtedly an alias. So it's possible that she is a part of the royal family. I d d d don't think so. Nobody could have survived that ho 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 awful night. Mm, you're probably right. 
What should we know about the place, Lewis? Besides what they're uh, dealing in there. No, oh, it's an elegant and exclusive place. Not everybody visits them for, for, for that, you know. Some animals just go for c c company. <clears throat> I see. I guess it's mostly visited by the upper class. M mostly, yes. The wealthy who have a taste. Yes, of course. Is it true what they say? That it's some kind of hidden stronghold of the royalists? The Nile is a proud herald of the coexistence of all the sp species, yes. But stronghold? I don't think so. But the place must be an eyesore for the separatists, right? Oh, don't, 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 don't worry for the girls, S -s -s Sonny. They can defend themselves quite well. The s -s -s separatists wouldn't dare to go near the place. Well, we'll see what they have to say about these two old cocks. Uh, that was a little bit, um, equivocal. Marty's delight, we were heading toward the most exclusive brothel in Clawville. The separatists and those opposing the monarchy hated the place, just like they hated everything that supported interracial relations and peaceful coexistence of all species. So the place wasn't just a brothel, it was a symbol. But just like a brothel is not a worthy symbol, Clawville failed to turn out the way it was intended. Well, here we are. The kingdom of long legs, silky skin, and fluttering lashes. We've arrived. Calm down, Marty. Watch your blood pressure. She's what I call an exotic beauty. Well, that's one way to put it. Hey, every animal's the most beautiful thing in the world to someone. Yeah, you're right. Oof, I don't know about you, but I go weak in the knees for stripes. Please, Marty, I don't want to know. And I don't care. Keep it to yourself. And let's get out of here quickly. Can't I even talk to you anymore? You can. Ask about the weather, or how's my lower back. Those two are even connected, if you want to know. Yeah, old fart. My name is Day Night Diamond. Welcome to the sweltering Nile, gentlemen. Miss Diamond, I'm Sonny, and this is my partner, Marty. If I may, miss, you have a beautiful name and exceptionally wonderful stripes. Marty, not now. Oh, thank you very much. Please excuse him. He doesn't visit places like this very often. Uh, me neither, uh, to be honest. Oh, nothing to worry about, gentlemen. There's a first time for everyone. You're absolutely right. We're just interested in a certain lady called Deborah. Deborah? We don't have any employees by that name right now, but if you want, any of our girls would love to be Deborah for a night. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, excuse me, you misunderstand. Uh, she doesn't work here. I'm afraid I don't follow. It's kind of confusing, but let me try to explain. Please, I'm at your service. I'll gladly answer any of your questions. You hear that, Sonny? Any questions? Shut up, Marty. Excuse me, gentlemen. 
kind as to help me? With pleasure, ma'am. The zipper always comes down on my dress. Would you kindly zip it back up? Can I, Sonny? What am I, your mother? Do what you want, for God's sake. Happy to help, ma'am. Oh, what a gallant young man. Clucking lords. Marty McChicken. Thank you, darling Marty. I'm much obliged. Anytime, ma'am. Anytime. That woman, she's familiar. Do you think it's her? The broad from the Bloody New Year's? God damn it, Marty. Do you have to say it out loud? It gives me goosebumps. Chicken bumps, more like. Anyway, I don't know if it's really her. I always get confused by the exotic ones, but yeah, maybe. Honestly, it gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. These brides are elegant, just like Laszlo said. Lewis, what do you think could be the old rabbit's type? Fluffy tails, furry ears, a raspy tongue? Oh, for the love of all the gods, stop it. Just think about it. Please shut up, Marty. I, I... I don't even know... Good gods! Hey, keep it down, Marty. I see it now. Of all that's furry. Yes, it's very furry. Or more like, uh, shaggy. Holy fur. You swallowed so hard, the whole place shook. Are you kidding me? I've never seen anything like this before. Is this even legal? Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. Vice? You really must be joking. Vice in Clawville? Uh, okay, okay, I was pulling your leg. But still, it's a little hot in here. Well, cool down, Marty. Don't even look over there. Remember Laura, your wonderful girlfriend, whom you love more than anything. You don't need to tell me. All I'm thinking about is her. With a hatchet in her hand. More like my nuggets. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. That area is private. You need to register first. Oh, uh, thank you, miss. I wouldn't want to offend you. Far from it, but it's evident you're from the police, even without this. Is it that obvious? No, it isn't, but, you know, here in the Nile, we have a keen eye for this kind of thing. Right. I understand, ma'am. Do you know a gentleman named Lewis C. Hayworth? Of course I do. Mr. Hayworth is a regular guest at our establishment. I see. Uh, how regular, if I may ask? I can't give you any information about that. House policy. We have that, too. It's called the law, ma'am. Mm. If you have any questions of that nature, please... Come back with a warrant. Ah, touche. Does this list mean anything to you? This? I'm not sure. No, nothing. Don't you see some familiar names on there? I do, but everybody knows those animals. Personally, I have no contact with any of them. I see. Oh, thank you. Look, she gave this to us. The girl named Deborah, the one we uh, asked you about. I see. Do you know what this is? Of course. It's a membership card. Was this person a regular here? If this belonged to her, then yes. I can check for you. Please, the ladies will entertain you while you wait. I'll 
be right back. Uh, thank you. I'm much obliged. How young is this girl? Damn. This place is clapped up. Do you think they're forced to do this? Marty, we're not here for that. Just for the information we need. Yeah, but you know what, Sonny? We're fortunate to be able to choose what we do with our lives, huh? You are, Marty. You have the chance to work with Santino Featherland. Me, on the other hand. Uh -huh. I apologize for the wait. Please, come with me, gentlemen. So you were successful. My mistress, Madame Zavas, would like to meet you. You mean that, Madame Zavas? As far as I know, there's only one of her, so... Yes. Please, miss, take us to her. With pleasure. Madame Zavas was a legend in Clawville. Her name was known all over the wilderness. She's an avid royalist, former member of the Council of Twelve, spy master, assassin, businesswoman, and courtesan. To be honest, I didn't even know she was still alive. She's no spring chicken, that's for sure. She could also be my mother, or maybe my grandmother. First Ibn Wessler, now her. Honestly, tonight it wouldn't surprise me if His Majesty Hector III didn't grace me with his presence. <laughs> 